Light fogging is a free exhibition at Science Gallery at Trinity College Dublin and we're looking at everything from easy to measure things like your heartbeat and how many steps you take uh, to heartbreak and what your relationships are like. We've all been recording data about ourselves for millennia from diaries to photos to video images but what makes live vlogging really interesting at the moment and why Science Gallery is doing an exhibition about it is that there's been a leap in the kind of technology that we're using to quantify ourselves. We're trying to look at live vlogging uh, in a positive light but also explore the ethical and privacy issues that come out of collecting lots of data about ourselves and collecting data at a societal level as well. I would love for people to leave this show with an understanding of what their data exhaust looks like, so what all the apps on their phone are doing and recording about themselves. When you start actually sharing data and it gets out there, then other people can analyze it and use it. So I'm really interested in the economy of data and the market around data. Us being able to give our data away um, to people and them using this data, they'll never be able to really know the human connection we have in, in generating our own data. There's no way of avoiding actually live logging, so an examination of it is definitely worthwhile. What we want visitors to wonder is, if you could measure everything, would you? I don't know, I don't really agree with it. I think it's very like controlled way of life. I don't really know if that's like a regressive idea. It's very intense, but it, you get an awful lot of insight into, into people's lives overall. Alan has kind of recorded everything continuously every day. So he did, in effect, create a life log. And that's what a lot of people do. They create a life log that they can view themselves. But Alan has taken it a step further in creating something that you can explore. It gives people a chance to walk around in a guy's memory. And that is maybe even the ultimate life logging. One of the things I actually like most about the exhibition is how like, passionately all the people who do collect their data collect it. That blows my mind. They started on the 24th of September 2003 and uh, at that time I decided to use a small camera to photograph every object my right hand uh, uses to record all of my activities. I look around at some of the pieces here, it's all quite scientific. Maybe I took more of a humorous approach to mine and kind of imagined where this idea of life vlogging could go in the future. Uh, people can be very easily scared about life vlogging as a concept, but we thought, no, let's bring it, let's introduce people to really cool and innovative new ideas and technology that they will hopefully over the next couple of years bring into their life. We have a lab space where people will take a residency. These are artists and scientists or designers who are going to be prototyping devices and apps and services with the visitor. So people coming into the show will be able to try out different types of engagement, different types of emotional measurement and in different responses. So we're going to be actually measuring people's conscious emotional response to the show. It's a very interesting time for us as society and us as people to see what we can do with this. 